Okay, this might seem a daft idea, but if you get a bicycle and you want to make it electric, you have to put a battery on it sometime. And normally you get what they call a tube battery that fits onto the bottle, 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 bottle. You know, when you fit a bottle in, you take that off, the screws there and the mounting, put it onto the holes. But these holes are always too far down. So in this case, the battery wouldn't fit. It's actually upside down. And this bit should be at the bottom, and this bit should be at the top. But in that case, it doesn't fit. It just won't fit in the frame. So, if you turn, if you get one of these, and they're pretty common, it's a Halo, Halo, I don't know, 36 volt battery. Anyway, if you turn it upside down, there's no reason it should, shouldn't work. I am putting the motor on this. Uh, but what I use is two, two of these stainless steel Jubilee clips. There's one here and one here. You join them together and then you just tighten it up so there's not much thread on this side. The other side it's okay because the thread goes all the way around. It sort of bends around here. And it holds it absolutely rock steady. I've even tried this on uh, my previous bicycle which was stolen recently. But it had a battery like Alloy, only I painted it matte black. But I use the same idea. This, as you see, I don't know if it focuses, no holes in the back where the uh, locking thing is. There's no holes there. You have to drill your own holes. But when you do, you'll still find it wobbles. But if you put a Jubilee clip like this, two Jubilee clips, it's rock solid. It really is. Very simple. So, uh, if you build a bike and you want it to be rock solid, maybe you want to actually use it as a trail bike or something, you know, try that.